were all agreed that we were leaving the state, like then, not tomorrow, but then. So it meant just leaving, up and going. And so, um, you know, in trying to relay how big a deal this was nationally to them, one of the things that we did was um, at Move On, we got uh, about 150,000 notes of support for them. And then we had to figure out, well, how are we going to get these things to them while they're mobile in Northern Illinois? And uh, so we worked out this like dead drop at a Kinko's in uh, <laughs> north of Chicago with, with Chris, where he, he showed up and you know there were two boxes of printouts waiting for him. And he took them into the meeting, and everyone was like, what the hell are those? And he was like, well, I just went to Kinko's, and there's 150,000 people around the country who are sending us notes of support. So it was, it was definitely, they were definitely doing it live. Um, so, you know, I think at Move On, one of the things that we spend a ton of time doing is just trying to get our finger on the pulse of our five million members, trying to see what excites them, what they're interested in taking action on. And I can say without reservation that this is the most energy. What happened around Wisconsin was the most, showed the most energy of anything we've seen, certainly since 2008, and in a non-electoral context, since the start of the Iraq War. Um, people were fired up because they saw the people of Wisconsin, both the Wisconsin 14 and the 40, 50, 70, 100,000 people on the square in Madison standing up and saying, you know what, we're tired of being attacked and we're not just gonna you know, issue a press release and, and vote no, we're gonna stand up and fight. And when people do that, it, it galvanizes others. And so that's what we saw happening. Um, and so, you know, we one of the things that um, that we very quickly tried to sort of figure out is we said, well, they've opened up this space. How do we keep this space open, right? How do we keep um, this going? And so one of the things we came up with, and this was literally on a Sunday night, we said, well, what if we held rallies in all 50 state capitals next Saturday? <laughs> Um, there are some strange state capitals in this country where there's not a lot of density of progressive um, uh, folks. So, you know, our field folks uh, kind of were on board with this. They were like, yeah, okay, we'll figure out a way to make this work. Um, we need a lot of help, but we'll figure out a way to make this work. And uh, so we said, okay, well, we'll go talk to other folks. We'll talk to other organizations and see if they're in. And uh, so we started talking to other organizations. and. Every person we talked to was like, yeah, great, let's do it. Um, and so sure enough, next Saturday, uh, 50,000 people, in addition to 70,000 in Madison, uh, showed up in the other 49 state capitals to, in support of, of the folks in Madison. Um, and I was holed up uh, in Union Square in, in, uh, in New York City um, at the like, sort of what we created with the headquarters and we were trying to stream video in from all over the, the country which kind of sort of worked, and, um, but about 50,000 more people were online watching video of the rallies that were happening around the country because the mainstream media decided that this, you know, 400 Tea Partiers with crazy hats is worth covering, but 50,000 people plus 70,000 in Madison, not really a big deal. So, um, you know, we, we were streaming that, 50,000 people were watching, there were 50,000 people uh, reading the silly little live blog that I was doing. Um, it was a ton of energy. And just to quantify that a little bit better, uh, in the space of a couple of months, Move On members donated over $2 million to the efforts in Wisconsin. Um, for our efforts for the, to the Democratic Party of Wisconsin, uh, so that they could run huge signature gathering efforts, which were enormously successful, which uh, other folks are gonna talk about. But this was, this was real. People, I mean, we, you'll hear more about this in the coming days um, when Van Jones talks about it, but you know, we were uh, coming right out of Wisconsin is when we started talking to Van Jones about this new project we're doing, or that he's doing called Rebuild the Dream and that we're doing with him about this idea of an American dream movement. And really when I think about this idea of an American dream movement of people saying, you know what, I'm fed up with the American dream slipping further and further out of reach and I'm gonna fight back to put the American dream back in reach, the place that it started was in Madison. And so when we look back, hopefully in a year or two years or five years, and think about where this all started, it started in Madison because tens of thousands of people were willing to 
skip work and show up at you know peril to their jobs uh, and in the freezing cold uh, to fight back. And 14 Wisconsin senators said, you know what, we're we're really we're going to do whatever it takes to stop this.